world is changing. We are already seeing the effects of climate change on ecosystems and on economies. The world's governments have agreed to limit average temperature rises to below 2 degrees Celsius, which means that emissions will need to halve by 2050. But by 2050, the global population could grow from 7 to 10 billion and the economy could triple. This could increase the world's energy demand by 70%. Is it possible to keep to our 2 degree target? Can those in developing countries aspire to the lifestyle enjoyed by richer countries today? And how much will it cost? To find out, experts from around the world have come together to build the Global Calculator, an open, free and interactive tool that anyone can use to explore our options to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The results may surprise you. The calculator shows that it is possible for everyone to have good living standards in 2050 and tackle climate change. But for this to happen, we will need a green technology revolution to change the way we produce and consume energy. And it needs to start now. We need a radical move towards low carbon electricity generation, while also doubling electricity supply. At the same time, huge strides will be needed in energy efficiency. We will need to protect and expand our forests as they act as an important store of carbon. This will reduce the amount of land we have available for farming, so to make sure everyone has enough to eat, we will need to increase crop yields by 40 to 60%. Businesses and governments are already using the tool to explore these opportunities for themselves. The tool addresses a wide range of areas that are really quite critical to our business. Um, and for us, it's um, very helpful to be able to look at impacts and balances uh, between the drivers in the tools to think about how we face the future. But even more importantly, to work uh, with our clients uh, in helping them understand implications for their business um, in whichever countries they're operating. I can simulate and use this tool to check different sectors from the global angle and can compare with our China calculator and can get how much the percentage some important sectors and some emissions in the world. The piloting we've done internally has attracted a lot of attention from colleagues all over the world who are interested to participate um, and contribute their expertise and see things from their perspective. So I'm optimistic that it will become a significant part of how we think. I would very much encourage other people to use it as well. Visit globalcalculator.org to try our interactive tool yourself. See if you can hit the two degree target and share your pathway on Twitter. The Global Calculator, informing the climate debate.